Now to more on Mexican performer Vincente Fernandez, the 81-year-old singing legend leaving behind an incredible catalog of music and his influence will be felt for generations to come. Morgan Norwood has more on the passing of the king of ranchera music. Millions across the world mourning the loss of mariachi music legend Vincente Fernandez, or some call him Chente, or El Rey, a powerhouse in ranchera music. His family announcing his death, saying, quote, it was an honor and great pride to share with everyone his great musical career. He gave everything to his audience. Fernandez's career spanning nearly six decades with his first record deal in 1966. From there, the man who began singing on street corners released more than 75 albums and sold tens of millions of copies, both in Mexico and the United States. Live, the voice it resonates every note and it's so meaningful and you for some reason when he says something I don't speak Spanish but when he says something you can really feel it and when he sang it hit you right in the chest. His ballads are considered the musical soul of a people and culture. He wrote about love, loss and his beloved Mexico. Fans in his homeland remembering the icon gathering with photos and flowers just outside of the hospital. President Joe Biden tweeting Vincente Fernandez created memories for millions. His singing talent catapulted him into Hollywood, starring in over 35 films. His star on the Walk of Fame blanketed with flowers and candles. Fernandez leaves behind a musical dynasty, his son Alejandro and grandson Alex Fernandez, building on the family's success. The legacy, and he's left the legacy of just beautiful music. The family of Vincente Fernandez has not released funeral plans. It's also unclear how he died. Back in August, he suffered a serious fall and had been hospitalized for that, along with other ailments. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.